So, peeps, we're going to have a cheeky look around these pills, and mainly the reset. Now, the reset being the input of S34. So, what we're going to start out with is the left hand side, the toggle switch. This is single channel, non short protection. So, what this is still looking for your earth fault. This is still short, looking for a short circuit, but this is not looking for anything short circuits between the two channels themselves. So what I found with this is you need to use this with the coded mag switches because the electronics inside of the mag switches it throws out completely. So you'll still have your S111 coming out with your plus voltage and then going back to channel one or two. So on the right hand side this is dual dual channel and this is still looking for your earth faults. You're looking for your shorts on single channels. But then this is also looking for any shorts across the two channels itself. So with the single channel, you're only coming out of S11, then go to channel one or two, to your channel. Now you're going to start using your S11 and your S21. So you've got your S11 going to your S12, and your S21 going to your S22. So that's where you get your dual channel kind of over protection. So now what we're going to start looking at is the actual reset actions themselves. So A is for your automatic reset. So if you have your um, reset voltage coming from your S12 and then going straight into your S34, that just automatically reset when you reset the fault. So what we're going into is our manual resets now. And yeah, as you can see by the schematics, we're putting a normally open button in. So what this one is, is the rise edge. So this will reset as soon as you press the red you reset button and that voltage is then transferred into the S34. Now what we've got is the falling edge. Now this is what it's going to do. So this won't reset until you've pressed the button and then it'll reset when you let go of the button. Now this is to say if you were to have a stuck button down, this won't allow it to reset until it has that kind of breaking voltage. Now the last set is really main for your safety gates. This is just checking the actual location of the gate and if the safeties are made or not. So if you want me to go into that depth, I could do, but not on this one. Now if that's helped someone, that's legit approved.